For the convenience of you and your clients, TravelJoy offers two types of invoices. Our default invoice, known as a supplier invoice, does not charge your client immediately. Instead, the invoice will securely collect your client's credit card information, along with a signed authorization to use the card to pay the supplier, like a more detailed credit card authorization form. Our direct invoice is designed to collect payment from your clients for deposit directly into your bank account. This is useful for travel planning fees and other professional service fees. You will not have access to the direct invoice feature until you've visited Settings, Direct Payments on the left side menu and filled out an application. Once you do, we will reach out when your account is approved. Let's create a supplier invoice by opening this trip, clicking the blue Create button, and then clicking Invoice Supplier. You'll notice that there are three sections when you create your invoice. Items at the top, Settings in the middle, and Payments at the bottom. Let's add our first item by clicking the Add Item button and then opening the list of possible items. In this case, we'll select Hotel. In the box that pops up, you'll want to enter detailed information about the item that will show up on your client's invoice, such as the name of the hotel and the check-in and check-out times. After this, you can switch to the Commissions tab. This is where you'll track your supplier commission in TravelJoy. For each item, select the Supplier, booking date, and the expected commission payout date and amount, and then click Save. You can add as many items as you'd like to the item section by clicking the drop-down and selecting another item type. Next, the gray settings box allows you to optionally name your invoice, update the terms and conditions that will appear on the invoice, and most importantly, choose which client will be responsible for the invoice, since an invoice can only be assigned to and paid by one client. Finally, we'll add a payment schedule. One option is to manually add a payment by clicking the Add Payment button and then editing the details. As you can see, the amount, description, and due date are all editable, and you can manually add as many payments as you'd like. A faster method is to add multiple payments. In this case, we'll be adding payments due on the 15th of each month through the final payment due date next May, all for equal amounts. When finished, we'll see the payments line up with our selected options. Before you send this invoice to your client, you may want to take a look at their point of view. So click the preview button at the top right corner, and you'll see what the client will see when they receive the invoice, including your agency information, their information, details of the trip, and then this authorization section. This allows the client to choose how much they'd like to authorize, add a new card, read the terms and conditions, and provide their signed authorization. They can also scroll to the bottom to see their full payment schedule. When you'd like to go back to see your version of the invoice, click the Edit button at the top right corner. Now that we've finished this invoice, I'll click Next at the top, and then Save and Review Email. This brings up the email message that will be sent to my client along with a link to the invoice. When I'm satisfied with the message, I'll click Send, and the invoice is on its way. Let's create a direct invoice now by clicking the same blue Create button and selecting Invoice Direct. You'll see the same three sections, Items, Settings, and Payments, but there are a couple of key differences in the Settings section. First, let's add an item. Since this is a direct invoice, we'll choose a trip planning fee, update the description and the price, and click Save. What sets a direct invoice apart are the payment processing options. Namely, you can choose to allow your client to pay via credit card, via bank transfer, or allow them to choose either option. You can click the question mark here to see the different payment processing fees and the amount of time it'll take to receive each type of funds in your bank account. You can also choose who pays for the processing fees. When the client convenience fee box is checked, the client will pay the amount due plus processing fees, allowing you to collect the full payment amount. If the box is unchecked, the client will pay the requested amount and the processing fees will be deducted from your deposit. Once we've added our payment schedule, I'll click Next one more time. This time, we're not ready to send the invoice to the client yet, so instead of clicking the option to review the email, I'll just click Save. This allows me to return to the invoice later to pick up where I left off and send it to the client. Let's take a look at a few more invoice notes. In this case, a client has authorized a payment on a supplier invoice and we want to pay the supplier. For this, we'll go to the Files tab and click the invoice, and then we'll scroll to the bottom to find that authorized payment. When you click the credit card icon, TravelJoy will not only pull up the client's payment info tab, but will also open the specific credit card used to pay for this transaction so that you know you're using the right card. 
From here, use the credit card details to pay the supplier. When you're sure the payment has gone through, exit this section to return to the invoice and mark this payment as paid. In the dialog box that comes up, choose whether to send your client a receipt and click mark as paid one more time. Now, let's say the client has paid this next payment via check. Since TravelJoy doesn't know when you've received the check, you'll have to visit the invoice to manually mark this payment as paid by clicking the Mark as Paid button, choosing whether to send a receipt, and then clicking Mark as Paid again. Finally, you'll occasionally need to update the items or pricing on an invoice. To update an invoice after it has been sent, head to the Files tab for that trip and click the three dots at the top right corner of the invoice, then click Edit. From here, you can edit the invoice just as we did in the previous steps. Remember, if you change the items or pricing at the top, you'll need to update the payment schedule at the bottom accordingly. When this is complete, click Next and choose whether to save or to save and send an email to your client. Whatever you choose, the next time the client opens this invoice, they will always see the most up-to-date version.